Hey everybody, uh, just a quick talk today on bridged cables and how you can make your own. Uh, this is an example of a bridged cable. This is two 8-pins. And now these days with all these three 8-pin GPUs uh, that we've been getting with the 30 series and some custom, you know, uh, 6 down series AMD cards, people are starting to need 24 pins like this. I made this cable myself, so this is a bridge cable. It's bent because I'm training it. Um, but a lot of people, you know, you buy Cable Mod Pro cables, right? This is a Cable Mod Pro cable. You can see it comes with the combs. Now, what you can do is instead of rebuying cables, uh, which a lot of people do, when the bridge cables came out from Cable Mod, a lot of people rebought cables. And you know, they're not cheap, they're like 50 bucks a pop for two A pins, um, especially if you start adding combs. So there's no point to rebuying cables if you already have cables. You can just make them bridged yourself. Or if you don't want to wait for 24 pin ones to ship, you can also make them yourself. Um, by default, uh, I think these kits, they usually come with two, eight, two by eights. Uh, and the one eight, some, the older kits had more than, than two. They used to have like four, right? The older style kits, like uh, this, the older cables they used to make. Um, but yeah, what you're going to do is you're just going to depin these. And when you depin them, you're just going to recomb it with something like this. See, this is an eight, this is a 16 pin comb. These things are a dollar, anywhere from a dollar to four bucks for the fancier aluminum ones. Um, depending on the pin size, uh, if it's 16, 24 number pin holes, the price goes up a little bit, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to get a tool like this. This is uh, a deep pinning tool. These things are like $4. You can buy them on Amazon even or any mod shop or any shop that sells computer sleeving or anything like that. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start deep pinning these cables and redoing them, right? So this is the actual ATX pin itself. As you can see, there are two wings on each side. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you take a pin tool and you're gonna stick it into the hole and you're aiming to get the sides of the pin, right? So it's a little hard for me to see on camera, so I'm gonna pull it away. Sometimes it helps if you, sometimes if you can't get it well, just push the sleeve up a little bit, push on the wire, push it forward. Okay, so now I have it in here and you can kind of tell that you got it in the right place and you're just gonna pull. You don't have to pull too hard. And knows it comes out. Now, this is, if you ever wonder why the difference between buying your own sleeving and, you know, I mean, sorry, making your own sleeving versus buying sleeving. You see how the sleeve is just crimped on? When you make your own cables, you will use heat shrink and you will melt the sleeve onto it. Um, the reason for that is it's just cleaner. Sometimes, you know, this is a little stubby. You can see it's stubby. It's not as clean. Um, and if, if I were to take, for example, like, I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not done this way. This is a mainframe made cable. Um, so you can tell it's a little bit tighter in terms of the way it's pulled. So this is definitely a better made cable, but they're actually doing the same thing. If I were to come in here and I would just deep pin it, well, it's kind of hard to see on that. No, uh, second here, try to see on camera, okay. So if I were to pull this out, you see it's also crimped onto the wire, onto the sleeving, but it's done much neater. There's no, you know, side hairs and so forth. So what you're going to do is you're just going to deep pin these like I've done these two. It takes a second, and you're just going to re-sleeve them like this. All right? You just put it on the comb, and then you just put it exactly where it was before. You know, it only fits one way. So I mean, it'll fit in both ways, but if you put it in correctly, there's a click, right? And you'll hear that click. I don't know if you can, if I put it on my microphone, you might be able to hear it. I don't know how well that came out, but there's a click and then it doesn't rotate anymore and you can see it. If you look inside, they all line up, right? So you just keep repeating this process all the way through. You don't really have to look at charts. You just keep track of which one you pulled out. And one you've done, you know, two um, eight pins, you essentially have a bridge cable like this. See, this was done this way, right? So, you can do that now if you have the cables ready to make a 24 pin um, and so forth. And this will save you a lot of money. So there's no point buying new cables if you can just reuse the ones you already have. And 
I mean, cable mod would love it if you bought more cables, but this thing is about four or five bucks. The combs are anywhere from a dollar to three, depending on how fancy of a comb you want. And it takes you less than 15 minutes and you save a lot of money. So, you know, don't waste things if you don't have to. And that's pretty much just it. All right, thanks for watching.